Hello, everybody. So, yeah, I will uh, present uh, some uh, updates on the epicenter studies about cholera and uh, OCV. So, I will focus on two main studies one on uh, the evaluation of impact of OCV preventive campaigns, and that, that is in uh, GRC, and the uh, other one of uh, the impact of uh, CATI strategy, which includes uh, OCV distribution. So as the, the second one was already uh, presented in this group, I will mostly focus on the first one and give a, few, uh, a quick update of the second one at the end of the presentation. So the, the main objective of this uh, study is quite simple and uh, to evaluate uh, whether a large OCD vaccination campaigns uh, allow efficient control and uh, that will last for at least two years uh, to see the impact uh, after after the campaign. So there is three main uh, activities. Uh, with the first one is uh, clinical surveillance. Uh, another one is repeated seroprevalence surveys. And we will also have home follow-up on some positive cases. And I will detail these activities a little bit more uh, further on. Uh, the study is uh, currently ongoing. It's in two sites of Democratic Republic of Congo. It started in 2021 with an urban site in Goma and a rural site, uh, which is in Olomani province in, uh, in Bukana. Uh, so regarding the, the methods, the first uh, activity is uh, clinical surveillance. Uh, so the goal here is, is to have a, a baseline and permanent activity uh, to, to monitor the evolution of uh, the real epidemic curve uh, of cholera over the, over the years after the vaccination. So we include all the patients that present in those structure that we are working with, uh, with the systematic RDT test and complementary laboratory tests with culture and uh, PCR quantitative, for example. Uh, and of course, uh, a questionnaire with the vaccination status. The second uh, activity is uh, repeated several prevalence surveys, and we will do that over the two years of the study. So there will be three planned in, uh, in rural sites in Bukama, Olomani, and six uh, in Goma. So there will be blood collection, of course, and some of the surveys in Goma also stool sample testing. Uh, and uh, we will uh, test this uh, serology with uh, a lab uh, strategy with several uh, techniques as well. And that will allow us uh, to, uh, to monitor the immunity level over the years, over the season, see how it evolves with time and after vaccination, and uh, have a better glimpse of what the asymptomatic infections represent in, the, in this hotspots. And the third activity that we are setting up is a follow-up of cases over time with the, of positive cases. So we uh, will identify positive cases uh, from the surveillance uh, in the sites and also in Goma through uh, some of the several surveys. And uh, then we will um, set up household visits, test the whole family, uh, to see if the, the family was also infected, test uh, environmental samples, and then come back over time for several visits uh, to, uh, to do the same thing. And therefore, that uh, will hopefully uh, help us understand the duration of the Vibrio shedding, as well as the patterns of transmission in the household, and of course, according to the vaccination stages of the different households. Uh, so that's quite a, an ambitious uh, study. Of course, we are not doing this uh, alone. We are working closely with the Ministry of Health from LDRC, uh, and especially with the, the play call and uh, with Dr. Placid that, um, that presented uh, yesterday. Uh, our studies are uh, integrated in uh, MSF operational activities. And the INRB uh, is uh, our partner of choice for laboratory and especially uh, the lab in Goma, where we are hoping to set most of the uh, analysis. 
so as I said, so this study started in 2021 in Goma. Uh, the survey started in, in May, and there is the first overall prevalence survey uh, that is planned in the coming weeks in uh, January 2022. And uh, in the rural sites, uh, we did start surveillance and uh, several prevalence surveys at the same time in October. 2021, um, and uh, still waiting for the vaccination uh, campaign to take place now. Uh, so just uh, an update uh, on the on the second uh, study here about Cathy. Uh, so Cathy, as you know, is a, the um, uh, rapid response and the targeted response to uh, to positive and to, to 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 suspect or, or positive cases. Um, on the field. Uh, so MSF has plans to implement uh, CATI in, uh, in the several countries, and that would be a special CATI uh, that would include OCV distribution uh, together with a household wash and chemo prophylaxis. Uh, so Epicenter uh, will be conducting an observational study of uh, CATI effectiveness in the different uh, places where this strategy will be uh, set up and in collaboration with uh, LSHTM. Uh, so this uh, is currently moving forward with uh, uh, the protocols and uh, approvals in DRC that was already obtained. There is a uh, doses preposition there uh, for this purpose, and the uh, operational preparations are uh, ongoing. And there is also the intention to implement the same study in Cameroon, Zimbabwe, and Niger, where the approvals and discussions are currently still ongoing. Uh, that is uh, pretty much for it for me. Uh, thank you for your attention on these two studies and let me know if you have questions.